Good morning, everybody. Hi, Caitlin. Hi, Omari. I hope you're feeling okay. Hi, Josiah. I hope you're doing okay. Oh, might as well say, and Caitlin, I always hope you're doing okay. Uh, oh, no. Milan's getting the biggest kick out of making the suction cup toys fall off this tray onto the floor. They don't suction too well to the trays here. Oh, well. We try. Anyways, it's a new day. I'm sorry no one got a tape yesterday. Miss Joanne was out sick. Not COVID related. Um, so, I didn't send one. Anyways, it's a new day. Let's find out what it is. Sorry, my legs are crossing. I was not having enough space to uncross them. So the last time, well, yesterday was Wednesday, the 29th. That was yesterday. So what does that make today? Let me just get my other days of the week out here. Days of the week. 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 I have Josiah and Milan here with me. There's Sunday and there's... Ah! Oh, no. And everything fell out of it. All the slippery stuff with the... Lamination. But I got it back. There's Sunday and there's Monday, there's Tuesday and there's Wednesday, which was yesterday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. So, there's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. What comes next? What is... Today, what is the day after Wednesday? Still trying to get everything organized from when it fell, and I'm too afraid to stop and pause it and start again because lately I've been screwing that up. So there's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Wednesday, Saturday, or Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Do either of those sound right? What's today? If yesterday was Wednesday, what's today? Thursday or Saturday? Which one? That's the one. It's that one. It's Thursday. Do you remember Maya just liked the looks of Saturday, so he was watching that. You silly, silly boy. So today is Thursday all day long. And that makes tomorrow Miss Joanne's happiest day of the week because the weekend's coming. So today's Thursday. There's Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sa Sunday, or Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. What comes after Thursday? Sunday or Friday? That one? Good choice! Today is this. Today is Friday. And Jeremiah, that was his answer. He chose it. And today, instead of being cloudy and rainy, it's sunny. Jeremiah, which, one's, which one is sunny? Which one says sunny? Look at sunny. That's snowy. It's not snowing. It has to be cold for that. It's sunny. Yeah. It's sunny. Today's going to be sunny. At first he was looking at snowy, but it's sunny today. I'm not ready for the snow. So here's our chart. Thurs today's Thursday. It's going to be sunny. And tomorrow's Friday. Yay, Friday. I'm glad you like that. And for the next to the last day of, of our colors and everything that we've been doing, we'll do them again. It is our color of the week, or more than week. The color is purple. 
purple. Purple. Yeah. And purple starts with our letter. P. Yeah. So I gotta put that back up there. And our letter is P. Can you think of words that begin with P? Yeah. Oh, your last name? Yes, sir, you're right. And Penelope for a girl, Paul or Peter for a boy. We have Mr. Potato Head. We're going to get one. Play-Doh. We're going to get some of that, too. Yay. Paint. We already have tons of paint. We're going to be doing more painting. You guys, your apples look amazing. Up, Miss Julie put a tree up, and she put the apples in them. They look so nice. Uh, but paint. Oh, and did I say piano? Will you play it? But we have a big one that you just can use your hand on. Or, if it's on the floor, you can use your foot. Mm. Right? Do you like playing the piano? Hi, Jeremiah. Hey, Jeremiah. Okay, back. And... Our number that we've been working on has been the number five. Is that the number five? Yeah. You're going to help me count them? Ready? One, two, three, four, five. How about you? You're going to help me count them? One, two, three, four, five. Good job, Milan. Yay. And now for you guys that are all home, one, I want to make sure this is on the screen, right? Yep. Two, three, four, five. And five is the last number we can count. <laughs> is the last number we can count on using just using just one hand, because we have five fingers. One, two, three, four, five. Or toes. Or the other hand. So that's our stuff. Oh, I almost forgot what day is today. Like we know it's Wednesday. Uh, Thursday, but what date? Remember, each each day has its own number. Hi there. Hello. All right, I'm going on my break. I just finished. So, we know that it's Thursday already, but we need to know what number date. And remember, now we're in all the numbers where they have two digits that make up the number. And the first digit is the one that tells what, whether it's in any of the tens. No, they, none of these have numbers. So those are the ones. Here's the tens. They all have a one in front of them. Mm. Here's the twenties. They all have a two in front of them. So this was two zero, I mean two nine. So mm. the number with a zero comes. But what's the number after two? One... Two. What's this number called? Three. Thirty. Today's the thirtieth day of September, or otherwise known as October. No, September. So tomorrow is going to be a new month for us. This is the last day of September because there's no thirty-one in September. So tomorrow we're going to have to change our month and all our numbers off. Mm -hmm. Wow, that went by fast. So today I thought we could read. Mm -hmm. I have so much stuff up here from a book that is. will also cover some math stuff because mm -hmm. One Hungry Monster. So I chose that because, you know, Halloween's around the corner. Look at him. He's got the bowl on his head. Silly, silly, silly critter. Mm -hmm. See him? Mm -hmm. Look at him. He's got the bowl on his head or the pan, pan on his head. So I chose it, One Hungry Monster, a counting book in rhyme. I chose it for, chose it for a couple reasons. One is about a monster, and it's kind of getting close. Well, it's a month away from Halloween, so I figured I'd introduce that kind of stuff slowly. And it's a counting book, so it'll do some math with us. And this is by Susan Haybor O'Keefe. And it's illustrated, or the pictures are drawn by, Lynn Munsinger. And look at this one. He has the, the pot on the back of his head. 
on top of his head. I meant back because it's the back corner. Okay. What do you do when ten hungry monsters come to your house? It's a joke. It's almost like a knock knock, but not quite. Who's there? Ten hungry monsters. What do you do with them? You feed them. Ha 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 ha! They're hungry. So if you feed them, they won't want to eat you. Ha 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 ha! Here we go. You ready? You ready? One hungry monster. That's what's in that picture right now. At the bottom of his, underneath his bed is one hungry monster. Nice looking, guys. Underneath my bed, moaning and groaning and begging to be fed. Now we have bed and fed. Those are the rhyming words for this little, this little stanza. Bed and fed. They both end with ed, but bed starts with a b, and fed starts with an f. f, f, f. So one hungry monster under the bed. Let's just see the picture first. Two hungry monsters at my closet door, chewing up my sneakers, asking me for more. Door more. They're chewing up his sneakers. Oh no. Some people have dogs that get into the habit of doing that when they're puppies and they just need to put their shoes away because puppies do chew on shoes. Oh. I'm going to have to pause it for now because I have to take Milan out of his stander. Hopefully I won't shut it off. Hi. I had to pause as usual, but... We're back. So we were, had one hungry monster under his bed, one hungry monster, two hungry monsters in his closet eating his shoes. Now we have what? What comes after two? One, two, three, three. Three hungry monsters in the upstairs hall lick the flower painting hanging on the wall. They think it's real flowers are licking them. That's so silly. Would you lick a flower? Would you? Would you lick a flower? <sighs> nice looking. Oh, I don't even know if I showed it to you guys or not. They're like, come on, stop it. He's pulling them off. Stop it. You can't lick that. Tell him. So now we are at... What comes after three? One, two... Three, four. Four hungry monsters round my daddy's head, sniffing out the crackers he'd eaten in his bed. Oh no. He's eating crackers in bed. He's going to have all sorts of crumbs all over the place. They're looking for his crackers. Hey, share those crackers with us. I think that's what they're saying. Five. One, two, three, four, five hungry monsters sliding down the rail, munching and crunching on one another's one another's tail. Do you want to be going down that and have someone biting your tail behind you? They're using it like teething rings. Look at them. They're biting each other's tails. I know. Thank God we don't have tails, so we're not doing that. See him going down the banister? They're sliding down the stairs. What comes after five? One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Six hungry monsters underneath the rug, tracking down some footprints to catch a tasty bug. They think bugs are tasty. Yuck. So they're trying to eat nasty bugs, the six oh. monsters. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Oh. One, two, three, four, five. Why am I missing one? 
One, two, three, four, five. Where's the sixth one? Maybe he's under the bed. Seven. Let's count these. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We definitely have seven monsters there. There's seven monsters there. What are they doing? Let's see. Seven hungry monsters round our TV screen, drooling at commercials for sauerkraut and beans. Um, Yuck! That's what I have to say. Yuck! My in-laws were Polish, so I had sauerkraut was at everything. Never liked it. Well, it's a full page. Look at they're being crazy. Are they being silly? Look at them. What are they doing? Eight hungry monsters on the chandeliers. Swear they haven't eaten for maybe 20 years. Sometimes it feels like that when you're really, really hungry. He's like trying to get them off the chandeliers. No, you pull that down, my mom and dad will be so mad. Nine. Let's see if we can count them now. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine hungry monsters. That's a lot of hungry monsters. No, Milan doesn't want to see it. Nine hungry monsters. You guys want to see it? Wearing roller skates, hunting through the kitchen for knives and forks and plates. Skates and plates are your rhyming words in that one. And they're just, look at that. that could, they could all break and the poor little kid's trying to catch them all so it doesn't make a mess. Then we have, ta-da, ten. All your fingers, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten hungry monsters about to fuss and kick. Won't go out, they tell me, unless I feed them quick. So they won't get out until he feeds them. I want to eat. I want to eat. That's what they're probably doing. I want to eat. I want to eat. Is that what they're doing, Josiah? I mean, Jeremiah? Sorry, Josiah. I want to eat. So they're not going to lead them. They're with fussing and kick. They're, they're about to fuss and kick unless he feeds them quick. Kick. So I bring out one, one, one jug of apple juice. That doesn't look like enough. Two, one, two loaves of bread. Looks like French bread. Three bowls of spaghetti that they dump upon my head. Well, that's not very nice. I said they're hungry. Feed me, feed me. And then they're dumping the spaghetti on his head. He's trying to be a good friend and help them, and that's what they do. That's how rude. Four purple eggplants. Let's see if we can find them. One, two, three. Start again. One purple eggplant, two, three, four. Four purple eggplants, five pickled pears. I don't see anything for the pears. Six orange pumpkins, they climb up and down like stairs. There's their pumpkins they're climbing up and they said there's six of them, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> Seven roasted turkeys. Seven, I guess they're they're basically all getting uh, their own turkey, just about. See the turkeys? Eight pizza pies. Pizza pie. It's a pizza pie. Nine watermelons that they wish were twice the size. I always. If it was a really juicy, ripe watermelon, I would always wish it was twice the size, too. But let's count the watermelons. You want to help me count? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine watermelons. <gasps> Mr. Wan wants a watermelon right now. And finally, ten jars of Peter, Peter, Pete. Now I'm going to have a hard time. Peanut butter, but not a speck, speck of jam, because I want every monster mouth tight, shut tight. Ten jars of peanut butter, not a speck of ham, jam, because I want every monster mouth shut tighter than a clam. So he wants them to have to go, like when you have peanut butter stuck to the roof of your mouth, it's hard. Oh, they gargle with some apple juice, then shower with the rest. Why would they do that? It's okay. They pinch the bread to breadcrumbs and won't clean up their mess. Oh no, they remind me of thing, thing one and two that comes with the cat the hat. They braid spaghetti into wigs. That's so silly. And eat the eggplants whole. Just. Well, imagine the size of, oops, sorry, the size of their mouths. Then learn that pickled pears won't bounce. Oh, they're trying to bounce the pears, but they just kind of go splat. And neither will they roll. So they had eggplants whole, and they roll. Whole, roll. Those are our rhyming rooms there. They wear the pumpkin tops as hats. and dream of pumpkin pie, they argue over wishbones and pick the turkeys dry. See, there's a wishbone. You can get it part of the turkey, and then you let it dry out, and then you're supposed to, you, you and someone else hold it, and you make a wish, and then you both pull, and whoever has the longest piece at the end gets their, their wish is supposed to come true. They toss the pizzas back and forth like frisbees through the air and spit out sticky melon seeds to land right in my hair. So they're tossing the peanut butter, I mean peanut, the pizza's around, and they're spitting out the seeds. Look at that. They're all going on him. That's not nice. They dumped the spaghetti on his head. Now they're spitting the speed, speed, seeds out from the watermelon on his head. These guys are not nice. They paint the hey. peanut butter like lipstick on their mouths. Hey. They stamp their feet and boldly hey. said, Say, what else in this house, mouth house? Oh, what are you laughing at, silly? Are you laughing at them because they look silly? Yeah? <laughs> look at them all. That's my mom laughing. Now they had spaghetti, pizza, tur turkeys. Oh, now the little boy is angry, he's mad. He's like, get out! Get out! I shout. I loudly shout. You made a mess, and then no less, you ate my food and were quite rude. Mm-hmm. You put me in a nasty mood. You are so bad, it makes me mad. He's really letting them have it. He's really yelling at them, huh? It makes me want to squirm and twist to make a fist face and shake my fist, to stamp the floor and kick the door, and then do it one all once more. So without a single doubt, I tell you now, get out, get out. Oh, he's really angry, look at his face. He's really angry, get out, I said get out. <sighs> 10 sorry monsters creeping one by one, climb into the chimney, and now my job is done. Oh, that's how they're leaving, they're gonna go up the chimney. Just like Santa Claus comes down, they're going up. I can see that because his butt and his tail coming down. Where's the laughs? Then from behind the toaster, my secret hiding spot. Ooh, I wonder what he has in his secret. What do you What do you think? What would you put in your secret hiding spot? I would put something that was edible, but I didn't want them to eat. I didn't want them to see it. I take an apple muffin. The monsters never got. Oh, good. He's got something good. He got the apple muffin. And that is the end. So today we were able to do counting while we were reading. I really hope everyone's okay.
I have to say goodbye for now. I have a Zoom coming up. I'll say guy, bye to you guys on here just because. Bye, Jeremiah. Bye, Milan. They're still staying here. <laughs> bye, Omari. Bye, Josiah. Bye, Caitlin. I will talk to you. <laughs> I will talk to you all again tomorrow. Have a great day.